Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel, or welcome to the channel if you're new here. My name is Death by Pony, and today we're hopping right back into Danganronpa. So without further ado, let's hop into this. And back in we go. What time did Hajime see that video? I saw it at the hospital, right before Monokuma's morning announcement. And I saw the body at the music venue a little after Monokuma's announcement. Hmm. So Ibuki hanged herself right before Monokuma's announcement. And since we established that Hyoko was killed before Ibuki... That means the time that the murders occurred was before and during the announcement. Then we just have to find the person who doesn't have an alibi during that time? Now then, I shall issue my decree. Let Operation Destroy the Weakest Alibi commence. How are we gonna do this? Yuhiko, Sonia. We can exclude the sick people like me and Akane, right? And First. I need to look at everybody's account. Uh, Mikan's account right up until the Monokuma announcement that morning. Mikan was the Hajime. It was the Hajime the whole time. After she went to the hospital to check on everyone and realized that Ibuki had disappeared, she rushed out of the hospital to search for Ibuki. She apparently met up with Fuyuhiko. Yuhiko. Yuhiko's account. After Yuhiko met Mikan in front of the hospital, they split up to search for Ibuki. They checked the movie theater, the Lecher Avenue, but they didn't find anybody. Apparently, Fuyuhiko and Mikan only separate for a short time. And Sonya's account. Kyoko was distraught because her kimono was disheveled and she was unable to tie on her own. That's when Sonia apparently told her the full-length mirror in the music video. So I'm gonna go with it being Mikan or Fuyuhiko's account, I suppose to you. Right before the morning announcement, I was totally sleeping in my motel room. I think everyone at the motel was doing that. So everyone who stayed at the motel doesn't have an alibi. What about you guys? I was where I was supposed to be, my own cottage. That's not an alibi. Aside from those afflicted by the disease, if nobody has an alibi, then... No, that's not... I do. Hold on. Not all of us are missing an alibi. See... I knew it was going to be one of them, but I wasn't sure whose account it was. But I'm glad, like, I was like, so. When he said that, I was like, oh, great. I know exactly who I need. In fact, Mikan and I both have alibis. You, you two have alibis? Up until I saw that hanging video, Mikan and I were actually together for a while. We even woke up together that morning. Hey, what kind of situation is that? <laughs> I accidentally fell asleep on top of Hajime. Too much info. <laughs> yeah, it's not like that. She just came to tell me Nagato's condition had improved. And we went to the hospital together afterward. So we were together until right before the announcement. I get it. You guys have alibis. If that's the case, the killer must be someone else. It's better if we think about it like that. The killer decided to falsify the murder sequence to hide the actual time of the crime anyway. So it's inevitable that an alibi for both before and during the morning announcement would be very important. Hmm. It feels like Operation Destroy the Weakest Alibi has backed us into a corner instead. But committing an imitation murder, is that really all it was? Huh? Faking the time the crime occurred by falsifying the murder sequence, hiding their alibi in the process. Was that the only reason the killer made both bodies imitate the movie? Are you saying there was another reason? I feel really bad for confusing you guys so much, but that I think the killer had a completely different reason for falsifying the murder sequence. The killer had a different reason? If that's the case, are we still in the killer's trap? Inside a trap they set by one of us. If so, then who and what kind of trap is it? It's 
suspended. Hiya. Why, hello there, mon ami. The moss balls sure look tasty today. Don't characterize me as someone who lives off moss balls. And here's some chance time. What is that? Now then, mon ami, appeals time starts now. Appeal time? Your kind-hearted big brother is going to give you the chance to reclaim your honor. Good luck. Show those jerks who treat you like a red-headed stepchild who's the boss. That's 99% your fault. While you were whining, your time's already running out, so please make your appeal simple. About 3,000 words or so. That's too long. It'll be boring appeal. Come on, if your appeal is successful, there might be a merchandise opportunity heading your way. Um, then... I, you saw me, magical miracle girl, you saw me. And I'm itty bitty girl who's sweet like milk. Jeez, and I thought a certain robot little sister was supposed to be the best. What a disappointment! Um. Who are you talking about? I have no clue whatsoever. Why? Oh, to save. Resume. Once again, I've been put in such an unreasonable situation. Seriously, he's like the king of unreasonableness. Why did it turn out like this? We were supposed to have a fun, friendly school trip, but it turned out all bloody instead. No! This definitely cannot be allowed. That's why I want you to remember this. Everyone, do your very best. Don't lose to yourself. And don't forget to save frequently. The reason Killer didn't, did an imitation murder is a reason other than falsifying murder sequence. Does something like that even exist? Uh, it suddenly got quiet in here. Did I confuse you? Man, this again. If that's the case... It would have been just dandy if they had gone ahead and killed me, too. If that happened, the imitation would have been perfect. So why didn't they do that? Well, it's against the rules to kill three people in the first place. That rule is too harsh. I couldn't get killed because of that. Seriously, just shut up already! Shut up forever! But I'm thinking about it again, and he's totally right. It feels incomplete. Because they didn't kill three people like the movie did? That's only because of Monokuma's rule. It's not just that. Come on, try to remember the content of the movie. About the lion that got killed second. That's the one Hyoko's body was imitating, right? Hmm. Even though we're calling it an imitation, the lion was actually pinned by arrows, right? But Hiyoko's body was suspended by common household duct tape. Maybe they just used a common substitute because it was too difficult to imitate the arrows. Well, that's probably it, but that attitude is what makes this feel incomplete. If falsifying the murder sequence was the killer's plan from the very beginning, they should have taken steps to properly imitate it. But if we never realized it was a half-assed imitation, their entire plan would have been completely useless. What are you trying to say? Are you saying the imitation wasn't planned? I'm saying... Yoko's murder wasn't. What? Yoko's murder wasn't uh, planned? I understand that imitation wasn't enough, but aren't you making a bunch of assumptions? It's not just the poor imitation. There are also other strange details. Strange details? Like what? Like, for example, why did Hiyoko go to the music venue? Why did Hiyoko go to the music so, venue? you're saying the truth behind Hiyoko's murder is hidden? I have no freaking clue what you're trying to say! However, this is getting quite interesting. My four dark devas of destruction are getting riled up. Why Hiyoko went to the music venue, if that's the key to all this. I need to find that out, no matter the cost. Sonya's account. Why did 
I'm Shoko. Go to the music venue? There's no way we'd know that! Maybe the killer summoned her. If that's not it... Maybe she got abducted by the killer! No, maybe... She went of her own free will! I agree with that! Haha! <laughs> Just as Sonya said, she went to the music venue of her own free will. So, exactly as I assumed. If no one called for her, then why did she go? Yoko locked herself in her room because she was being overly cautious of the despair disease, you know? I don't think a person like that would leave their room just because someone called for them. There's no way she got abducted? Yoko locked the room she was staying in before she went out. If she was forcibly taken from her room, there's no way she would have had time to lock it. The killer could have locked her door, right? Just to hide the fact Hiyoko got abducted. Then they couldn't have hidden her room key that deep in her kimono. They would have put it somewhere more obvious. Otherwise, there's no point in messing with the crime scene if nobody finds the key. At the time, you were the one who actually took out the key, right? Then something like that- I won't lose! That I was not Are expecting. Are you saying my gut was wrong? Not that it's this wrong. Be my first and last highlight of the day. Why won't you just let me shine already? Because you're wrong. I wouldn't say you're wrong if you weren't. No, that's not the issue. Shut up! Enough with your fancy talk. I'll shut you up right now. <laughs> I feel like it's gonna be Sonya's account. Kyoko was locked inside her room, right? She definitely got abducted. The killer forced their way into Hiyoko's room. Forcibly abducted her! The girl is so small and weak looking. And that's why the killer targeted her. I can't back down! Damn. A little bit more, and I can draw something out next. Kyoko was locked inside her room, right? She definitely got abducted. Or the killer forced their way into Hiyoko's room, forcibly abducted her. The girl is so small and weak, and that's why the killer targeted her. I can't back down. Yes, but Hiyoko's room was locked. The key was deep inside her kimono, remember? It's more likely that Hiyoko locked the door herself. The killer was the one who locked the door! So what if the key was in her kimono? Maybe the killer just put it there later! Fair. There's no reason for the killer to put the key in Hiyoko's kimono. The killer probably didn't realize she even had the key. Hold on! Try remembering Hiyoko's body! Her kimono was off! There's only one reason her kimono would be that messed up. She fought the killer! Boom! Through those words. I got it on the first try! I'm so proud of myself. The reason Hiyoko's kimono was messed up was because she wasn't able to properly wear it. Wear her kimono? Yeah, it's also the reason why she decided to go out on her own. Hiyoko seemed to be really struggling with wearing her kimono. I believe that was one of the reasons she locked herself in her room. That is why I informed her. I told her that there was a full-length mirror at the music venue, and I suggested that she use it. Then, the reason her kimono was messed up wasn't because she fought the killer. Yeah, she went to the venue on her own just to fix her messed up kimono. I, I get it. I lost. Boil me, burn me, take off my clothes, do whatever you want to me. Hajime, now's your chance. Make her admit defeat. Or better yet, make her do a little something something. Hell no. Then, the killer probably couldn't have assumed that Hiyoko would go to the music venue. Though that may not apply to Sonya, since she provided Hiyoko with that information. Though I knew she would go there, there is no way I could have predicted when she would arrive. Don't go doubting Miss Sonia, you cretin! 
I'll put you and your hamsters six feet under. <laughs> Kazuichi, it seems you have quite the fashion sense. Do you want me to incinerate your clothes? Perhaps I could do that while you're wearing them. Gundam, please stop! For his sake. Huh? What do you mean, for my sake? Of course. I've already overlooked no less than ten opportunities to kill you. Even if the killer couldn't predict it, why did Hyoko get killed in the music venue? The only thing I can think of is... it was an unfortunate coincidence. Coincidence? When she went to the venue by herself, she was probably just unlucky and walked in on the crime scene. She was killed so there wouldn't be any loose ends? It probably happened when the killer was preparing to kill Ibuki. The killer most likely had already placed the hemp bag over her head. And without hesitation... Killed Hyoko. Because the killer used that coincidence for their crime, it made this case even trickier. Oh yeah, it did. That's the reason they imitated the movie to falsify the murder sequence. Which means that low-down scoundrel didn't plan on committing imitation murders at first. Then what was the killer actually planning to do? They've been cunning this far. There's no way they'd kill Ibuki without a plan. Do you have any ideas? Damn, we don't know the most important part. The killer's plan from the beginning, I'm pretty sure we're very, very close. Hey, Nagito, any ideas? Hey, how long are you gonna stay quiet? Oh, am I allowed to speak? Oh, I'm so happy I'm getting goosebumps. Everyone actually needs help from scum like me. So what do you think? I was thinking about it while I had my mouth shut. But now I'm finally able to come to a conclusion. Ibuki definitely didn't commit suicide. Huh? What are you talking about? I thought there might be a possibility that she faked her death and tampered with the crime scene. But now I remember. There was blood on Ibuki's slippers. So if she faked her death and walked around the music venue tampering with the crime scene, there'd be bloody footprints left in various places throughout the venue. So that's why I think there's no way she faked her death. There's no way Ibuki committed suicide. You know, we already finished talking about that a while ago. Huh? Really? That's annoying. I guess I should just awkwardly laugh about it then. <laughs> Are you freaking kidding me? There's no limit to how useless you can be. No, wait a minute. If Ibuki's blood on her feet, there'd be footprints all over the place if she kept walking That's around. Strange. That's very strange. This is strange? What's strange? I see. It's not something we'd finish talking about. This footprints is still an important clue that we've completely overlooked. Just as Nagito said, if she had blood on her feet, she would have left footprints. Why didn't Ibuki leave any footprints? Seven souls are behind the key at Britain. Log, account account surveillance. Really? I got that right? If Ibuki used the stepladder to hang herself, it's strange that there weren't any footprints on it. Huh? There weren't? Yeah. That stepladder was completely clean. No footprints or bloodstains at all. Did you notice such a small detail? How amazing! This is truly the talent of a chosen ultimate! What are you talking about? You're obviously leading us to this. That's... Why you brought it up, the suicide topic, after all this time. Nagito, come out at you definitely someone I shouldn't underestimate. But didn't you say you saw that video of Ibuki climbing the stepladder? Then I think there's no doubt that she really did climb. 
find it. Unless there was something funny about that video. I see. So there was some kind of trick arranged in that video, hmm? But that's something only Hajime would know, since he's the only one who saw that video. So just as I thought, it comes down to that. The mystery surrounding the incident is contained in that video. And whether or not we can reach that hidden truth is all up to me. Hajime, I leave it in your hands. As long as I leave this to you, I won't tell you to do your best, but oh well. You should get started already. Yeah, I'll definitely try. If there was some hidden clue in that video, I should have seen something strange as I watched it. I'm the only one who can clear that up. I'm the only one who actually saw that video. So I'm the only one who can do it. The video that I saw, based on everything I know from the argument, thus far I should be able to figure that out. For instance, there was a certain item present when we investigated the crime scene that wasn't in the video. Okay, so the bag was present. Rope was present. Ladder was present. Candle. Curtain. This part, based on what I saw in the video, this doesn't seem Damn it. strange. There should be something else trying to clear in the video. It's not based on what it's not. Damn it! it. This is... Ladder. Here! Ladder! That's right, I remember now. There was definitely something strange about that video. Can you explain it to us? What's strange is that stepladder I mentioned earlier. It's true that the steps of that stepladder weren't dirty, but on one side, there was a blood stain right on the left side of the stepladder. However, that contradicts the video I saw at the hospital. It's there a different any ladder. Blood stains on the step ladder in the video. It was. That is truly strange. If the video showed the moment of Ibuki's death, then Hyoko should have already been dead by that point. Even so, the fact is the step ladder had blood on it at the actual crime scene. But the stepladder in the video was completely bloodless. And there's no way the video was recorded in advance. If that's the case, the only thing I can think of is... It's possible those two stepladders were completely different. Wait, are you saying there were two stepladders? But where would you find another stepladder? There was only one stepladder in the music venue. Then one of the stepladders was somewhere other than the music venue. <laughs> what do you mean? You're suggesting that the stepladder in the video isn't the only thing that's different. Am I right? That's amazing, Chiaki. All that gaming has given you incredible deduction skills. Is it okay to say that? Um, what are you two talking about? Things you don't understand. I hope you enjoyed today's episode, and if you did, remember to hit like, that way I know you're enjoying the content I'm making. Remember to hit subscribe, that way YouTube brings you back here to see what happens next, and I won't take up any more of your time. I hope you have a good day, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye bye